Uh, I would love to to speak eloquently and wax eloquent about my inspiration for this show and how I wanted to do something that I felt was important for the autism community. The truth is, there was this Korean show, and I watched it, and I was moved by it, and I said I want to do that show. So um, I'm proud to be part of this, but it was simply because I watched a great show about an interesting character, and I just wanted to carry that forward. And we're looking forward to the second season and continuing to explore this character and uh, particularly his relationship to Dr. Glassman. And uh, so we're gonna we're having fun. The writers room just started up, and we're looking forward to more stories. Thank you. So, can you talk a little bit about what kind of um, advice you've been getting from the autism community? Um, we've been basically getting a lot of good feedback, and and we're grateful for that. And a lot of letters from people saying how touched they were by it from within the autism community and outside the autism community to be honest anybody who's different i think feels like this show is speaking to them and we're trying to tell an honest real por we're trying to do an honest real portrayal of of somebody of an individual which of course we all are who happens to have autism um we also uh, you know on the carpet before was Melissa Reiner who's our, our consultant on the show and we're doing as much research as we possibly can to be as realistic as we can and and to have as honest a portrayal as we can. Fantastic I'm getting the rap but I want to tell you I love the what I call the honest zingers. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Sure.